So, Karen, <clears throat> uh, again, I, I think ever since she's been toned down, it's not nearly as bad for Nash. Um, so I definitely don't mind. Um, I don't really mind playing this matchup um, as, as Nash, especially since Nash is kind of like unknown because most people just don't play him anymore. <laughs> and some people aren't ready to play against him. Round one. Just gotta be aware of his range. Hmm. I thought that was coming. I tried to. I like second guessed myself. Huh. What about punish? Okay, well that just went really poorly. That's fine. I was a little bit out of it on that one. Um, all right, so he's just he's just kind of going. Doesn't have a lot of respect for me. That's fine. Oh, that sucks. No, don't chase me. I used it early. No, you can't do that, dude. Good tech. I meant the neutral jump there. That was dumb. Well, I don't know why I'm pressing a button there. It's totally not my turn. And I'm dead. That's what I get. Um. Yeah, I shouldn't have been pressing a button there at all. I don't know why I am. It's totally not my turn. <clears throat> uh, that teleport is, a, is definitely free, though, on pretty much any of his options. Um, that's the only option that doesn't get a, a full punish and only gets that soft reset, which is unfortunate. Um, weird for him to go for that one there, considering it wasn't going to do anything significant to my life. It wasn't going to do anything significant to my stun, because my stun was non-existent. Um, so it was a very strange option for him to go for there, because um, it just didn't do anything for him. That sucks. I missed two, luckily. I was gonna throw that. All right, we're good. <clears throat> so, learning what he does and does not know about my character, understanding how he's trying to play, right? Making these adjustments, because um, he kind of has just two modes. Ooh, that sucks. Because there's no hitbox on that for some reason. Ah, not getting exactly what I want on the stick here. Again, right, giving him a ton of things to think about as he's playing there. Giving him a ton of things to think about as he's playing uh, in that defensive choice. But um, just Win. understanding how he flows with his offense, what he does with his um, special moves, and where he tries to put his gaps. Let me know when to move, when to challenge. Um, so just not letting him get away with all this fake um, shoulder tanko pressure. Um, knowing that his anti-airs are bad just because Karen's anti-airs are bad. So trying to intentionally play around that. Um, keeping the meaties tight really kind of led to that win there. So let's see if we can finish it. I deserve that. He called it out. That hurts. Yep. I was holding down. I was definitely blocking. He's probably going to throw here. See? He tried to throw and I was right, but I got punished for it. That's a really stupid thing in this game. That's a really stupid thing in this game. That I was 100% correct. On, on what he went for, and then I got punished for it. It's gonna chill. Sweet. Let's 
there. You're pressing when you're- he doesn't know. And just give him something right make him lock down he probably didn't want to use his resources because he wanted to save it to win so i knew it was highly unlikely he was going to use any of his resources there so i was going to use the close out like i did yeah you can't do that dude i'm gonna keep up on the pressure that's fine i wanted to use that that's the wrong one to use there Tried to punish. Oh, that's so fortunate. We're for real. We're for real. Oh my gosh, we're for real on that one. That he would just do that there. <laughs> that dude was that dude just went brain off. <laughs> He went brain off. Smart chip out. Very smart chip out. I uh, I float. I autopiloted on the EX moonsault, which I should not have done. I should have kept it on the ground. Um, he didn't understand my pressure at all, and I really could have easily won that. Um, but I, uh, I got impatient at bad ranges, which is always going to kill you in this game. Yeah, Rashid is definitely not a great matchup for Nash. Um, better with all his nerfs. medium again yeah I didn't, I didn't think he had the patience I'm gonna take him to the corner with some meter thing or meter steel rather he can't help himself yeah I should have seen that coming yeah he's just going I don't think he knows exactly how to do any of this stuff um, so just chilling there right got me everything just relaxing and getting all these punishes, not trying to force the win um, or make anything happen. That's too close to do that, dude. I'm gonna bait. Okay, that's fair. It's been a while. That's really dumb that he can do that. <laughs> Should not have reset there. I'm definitely flow charting that reset right now a lot. It's bad. Good damage. Fine, you can have that. You can have that. Ah, stop pressing at the wrong time, you dummy. And I could have reversed it out a bunch of times. I could have reversed it out forever ago. I, was, I, I locked down. I locked down. I could have gotten out of so much of that and just ran away, but I just sat there and ate it. And I shouldn't have. And I didn't need to. Right, knowing that you got bar for those kind of things so that he cannot do any any of his stuff important ah okay what's going on Ooh. keep the pressure on 
Fair enough. I didn't see you had the bar. No, you're not gonna get that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's right. He doesn't get punished there. Ugh. Got him. <clears throat> so, yeah, I had to keep it chill. I I totally forgot that all of his, his stuff changes, and I was um I was definitely messing some stuff up. That moon salt was a miss a messed up input. I was just trying to check his movement, um, and I accidentally got got moon salt there. Very very sloppy at the end, but still able to just relax and close out. Um, so I threw that fireball, and I had enough time to wait and see if he was gonna actually run into it for a mix up or if he was gonna try and jump um, or anything like that. Uh, this guy will DP out of his pressure though, and I need to remember when he's going hammer me in the corner to V reversal. Don't deal with that, right? Yep. Woo! Just going ham. I should seen that coming. He always does that, right? Let's get out of here. Nope. There goes your bar. There goes that. Right? Just chill. Be ready. I'm gonna do a little re-engage here. No. Doing it too much. Ah, I tried to block your overhead. And I was a little late. I'm doing that too much. I'm definitely kind of flow charting in that right now. I need to stop that. <clears throat> Still not too worried though. I think we're fine. Huh? No punish. Okay. No. Ah, I hate that. That freaking high profiles. Maybe. He's backdashing everything. Oh my gosh, and he's just going. No chill. Let's get out of here. No anti-airs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I I don't know why Nash's anti-air is coded like that, but that was just that's incredibly stupid. That like his dedicated anti-air button literally just didn't work there. I mean you can go pause the video and see that my fist is touching Rashid and it still just gets hit. Or some characters' jabs would win that and get like that encounter every every time. It's just really like you're dead when your dedicated anti-air button's that bad. It's just like what what's the point? Can I have a different anti-air button that actually works? Round one. <clears throat> Especially when some characters in the game, uh, usually the top or tier characters, have anti-air buttons that will work against anyone on any jump arc, including uh, cross-ups. Let's get that. Oh my gosh. He's got no respect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this guy. He tried to DP. Yep. Oh, I was right. I was right again. I was right three times and all of them just whiffed. <laughs> I was right three times and everything just whiffed. Really? Oh, that's not the punish. I gotta do one then the other. Okay, we're fine. Really? Press the button before that. Oh, that's yeah, right. He's not in V trigger. That's fair. You got me. Didn't get the punish. Neither did I. <laughs> what was that? That was a really good tech by him. I gotta give him that. That was a really good tech. Final round. This dude's going ham. Oh, 
it's funny where he was frame trapping before or where he was actually completing things before uh or he wasn't rather completing completing things before he is now oh it's supposed to be anti-air there we go all right i thought that was coming i was gonna say bait but i decided not to i wanted a, a meaty button yep on cue Yep, activate, and then go ham, right? He didn't really have a game plan. He was just go and do. Um, and that can be really hard to play against. People that just go and do uh, can be very, very hard to play against because you just don't know what's coming next. So uh, just being ready to punish. You saw I missed tons of punishes that could have closed out, and I ate a lot of pressure that I didn't have to eat. Um, all that stuff right you can't let your mind shut down you have to keep the alertness and the focus up um really good players will lose to that sometimes we call it people going random losing to random it can be very powerful it can be very powerful some care uh top players are really good at being very unpredictable um but still hitting punishes and being tight on frame traps uh nonetheless so um it's it's a thing man it is a real thing you gotta be able to beat it